Welcome, in front of me is a Google Pixel 10 Pro and today I will show you how you can insert SIM, or just SIM card into this device. Now, before I go into this, I do want to quickly mention that this will apply to primarily European regions as US, as far as I am aware, the version of this device that is sold in US does not have the tray, uh, SIM tray. So what you will need to do instead is just uh, scan your QR code for the eSIM e and that's about it. And that alone is very simple as eSIM comes with some kind of QR code and uh, just kind of showcase this if I bring up my browser and just say uh, I'm just gonna search for some random QR code so uh, when you have something like this I don't exactly know if that's how the QR code for eSIM looks like but let's just assume it does it's still a, some kind of QR code uh, what you will do is just open up your camera for that QR code uh, on, your, on your pixel that you want to use that eSIM on just point it at it now it might not work because there is this little Google lens right there, so let me just try to resize it. Come on. Okay, I guess. Okay, this one will be better. Uh, the little icon was getting into the QR code, so. There we go. Once I hover over it, it should. Come on. Detect it. Do that in it. Maybe the, this code is too random. How about this? For some reason it's not seeing it and I have no clue why. Come on, you should see it. It's not that complicated. Hmm. For some reason it's not seeing it, so let's see, do we have QR? There we go, we have QR scanner, there we go, it automatically finds it. So you can do it this way, just search for, like I said, in here, uh, as you see me do, i just get rid of this. So by swiping up in the search bar, and select QR, and it pops up with this, QR code scanner, you can open it up and it does the same thing. By default though, camera, the default camera application will see the QR code. Um, like I said, I don't know why this one isn't seeing it. There are probably some settings in here that prevent it. Not here. Here. I hope that's six ways. There we go. So I assume there are some settings regarding this which are changed. That's why it's not working. I'm not the only person using this device at the company, so you know, some things might be altered here. So anyway, that's for the eSIM. Now, for a normal one, all you need is a SIM eject tool, and your tray is at the top. And like I said, the US, you don't expect your tray to be there, as far as I can tell. But everyone else, you should have one here. And once you pop out the tray, grab your card, place it on the tray, and carefully insert it back into the device, because Google decided to not give you any kind of retention brackets, because it'll, you know, that 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 literal like less than a gram of plastic would cost them too much and once you insert your card back into the device it automatically gets detected and prompts me to confirm my sim card pin so i'm gonna do that right now and that's it the card is now in and working now if you found this very helpful don't forget to hit like subscribe and thanks for watching